So guys, I really wanted to do BHAs today, but when I started getting into BHAs, I kind of went down the slippery slope like I tend to do, and I went off on a tangent. Because you see, some BHAs are not really just BHAs, they're AHAs. I went off on a tangent about the most popular BHA. I'm not gonna give it away. You probably know what it is, which is actually not a BHA. Anyway, so I just couldn't, it just wasn't ready. So today we're just gonna talk about armpits. We stink. We have always stunk. Cause you and me, baby, we ain't nothing but mammals. The most offensive area, the armpit or the axilla. Did you know that the Egyptians place incense flavored porridge in their armpits to combat their stank? Fast forward many, many, many years later, soap was invented. Wash your armpits. That's handy. That'll get rid of the stink. But it wasn't enough. The first documented thing that people were using to combat their stank was fragrance oils. Fragrance oil smells good. I smell bad. I should put them in my armpit. Then in 1888, the first commercial deodorant came on the scene called Mum. It was a waxy cream substance that used zinc. Many deodorants followed, but at the time, we didn't exactly know what was causing the odor, so we didn't know exactly how to combat it. We now know that the offensive odor that you emit is caused by several factors. The first thing we have to talk about is the pH of skin. Now, if you're unaware of what the pH of skin means, take a look at my pH of skin video I'll link it below so that you can kind of get caught up to speed. I'm going to move forward um, assuming that you understand that concept. It means that your skin is slightly acidic. Our skin on our arms, our face, our legs ranges somewhere between 4.5 and 6 with an optimal skin pH being 5.5. Our skin's pH is one of our natural defenses against microbes. However, the skin in the armpit is around six. Is that encourages microbe growth. That might not sound like a big deal. You said the optimal skin pH is around 5.5 and the armpit is six. However, what you might not know is that the pH scale moves on a logarithmic increments, which means that six is significantly bigger than 5.5. The resident microflora of the human armpit ranges somewhere in the 10 million category. These microflora are perfectly adapted to living in our armpits. They love how wet and gross and grimy it gets down there. They do their best work there. So there are theories of why we smell. They're just theories at this time. So I'm not gonna go into those because I wanna get to what we wanna talk about later, which is inhibiting odor. We know that bacteria are under there causing mischief. They're just up to no good. We all stink at a, one time or another. The history of deodorant has a long list of chemicals that have been tried and failed, particularly because of safety. Here are some of the things still used at present times. Metal salts, such as copper, zinc, silver, aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. Now, if you're a green beauty lover, you automatically bristle at the term aluminum with good reason. However, what I do want to point out is that aluminum, yes, it stops sweat, but it is also a potent antimicrobial. So they didn't just start throwing it in deodorant to try to kill us. They put it in there because it actually has some good use, but I will not advocate aluminum. Fragrance oils, like we talked about, they're still in popular use today because they combat the stink. Alcohol, if we get them drunk, they can't stink. This is a little bit of a tangent. When I started researching the pH of the armpit, meaning that we want it to be slightly acidic, and a lot of the things that we use take it to being slightly acidic, why are we putting baking soda in our armpit? Baking soda is a base, meaning it falls way on this side of the pH scale. It's an alkaline agent, around nine. 
Why are we putting baking soda in our armpit? You could say that baking soda is there to absorb moisture, all right? You could say that baking soda is there to neutralize odor, okay? But then they put it in things like coconut oil, which activates with heat and then just melts right off your skin. I don't know, but after this research, I will never use a, a deodorant with baking soda again. There's, there's just no logic to me at this present moment of my understanding. Now, if you're using a deodorant that has baking soda in it and you're loving it, do not change. You've found something that works for your body. However, me, they never worked for me and now I understand why. Any ionic form, salt, or ester of citric acid. They are naturally found in citrus fruits. They come in many forms. Magnesium citrate, sodium citrate, calcium citrate. If it's got citrate on the end, it's a salt, ester, or some form of citric acid. So enter this deodorant. I won this in a giveaway on YouTube from a woman named Maxine Wright. Go check out her YouTube if you've never checked it out. What are the ingredients? Alcohol and triethyl citrate. Is that just some citric acid and alcohol? I gotta tell you what, friends. This works better than any deodorant I've ever tried in my whole life. It keeps the stink away. It does help because of the alcohol keep your armpit somewhat dry. The alcohol kills the bacteria and the citric acid keeps it at bay. So that was it for today, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed. I hope this just brings up some interesting discussions about from everybody in the comments below about deodorant, natural deodorant, what kind of deodorant you use, what kind of stank you have. Actually, don't tell us that. Um, and I'll see you next week. Bye.